Welcome back to Haunted Salem. I am Boston Rob, and we are about to go on another mass hole paranormal exploration. As you can see, I'm kind of downtown Salem. This is uh, the Salem Commons. It's a pretty rad spot. I got a nice playground if you got kids and you come here. We are right across the street from the Witch Museum, and uh, today's location is actually back behind it. I guess you could kind of say, I don't know. I'm gonna take you walking with me right now because uh, it's down a side street. I think I know which one it is. Here, check this out. It's a great place. My mom used to take me here when I was a kid. It scared the bejesus out of me. If you don't know, it's uh, it's got like wax figures reenacting the whole witch trial. It, it's a great place, I just suggest not bringing kids under six. I don't know, maybe. How do I point to that? There we go. Another statue, some dude, I don't know. Can you see it? All right guys, so we're gonna uh, walk down the side street. Now I'll show you some of quaint haunted historic Salem. Thanks for joining me. Love you. That's the Witch Museum. Guys, check this out. Here's another thing that you'll see when you're driving through Salem. These little signs on the sides of these wicked old houses. Now they usually say who it was built by in the year. So this is a house built in 1766. Check that out. I don't know if there's too many houses still standing in America built in 1766. And this one looks like it's doing well considering it's, you know, a few hundred years old. Huh? Oh, Tor, ring the bell. Ding ding! Won't you be a neighbor? Is they going to make food land? What was it called? Come check this out. This. Now that, I mean, if I hit the lottery this is the color I'm doing my house and my wife's fine with it let's go check this out real quick before we hit up today's location look at that I mean that is so the John Ward house he's a leather dresser John Ward this house was built between 1684 and 1732 stood three blocks to the north on prison lane so that's what that that brick house over there i think that brick building i think that was a prison I'm not sure I'll, fi I'll find out for you guys but uh i mean they just don't make houses like this anymore look at that roof good god let me get this whole thing in the picture i would love to go investigate that building that's got to have some haunted history to it. Look at those windows. All right, guys. Now here is the street we're going down for tonight's location. And it's not dark yet because I wanted to, you know, being new to this area, I want, I want to explore some of these places in the light, check it out, see what it's like, see what's around it. Find out the lay of the land. But it's also better just to kind of know the area before you go at the crack of midnight and get surprised by, I don't know, <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything. When it's that late, it, it gets scary. Uh, here it is. Now, this isn't just the normal cemetery, guys. This has a special, special history. One of a kind in all of America in this graveyard. I'll tell you about that in a second. Seems like Salem has a lot of 
one-of-a-kind histories in certain locations. Whoa, is that an abandoned school? I, I would hope that's abandoned, right? I don't want kids going to school and looking out. <laughs> what time is recess in the graveyard? Check this out too. Isn't this Raz just all these old houses? I don't know if these are salt box homes or what, but gorgeous, gorgeous homes. Just across the street from one of the oldest, scariest. Look at those crows. What are those crows doing? Just the murder of crows hanging out in the graveyard. All right, guys, here we are at the Howard Street Cemetery. Now, what makes this graveyard unlike any other graveyard in Salem and any other graveyard in all of America is there's a man by the name of Giles Corey, Giles, G-I-L-E-S, Giles Corey, who is laid to rest here. They don't know exactly where his grave is, but they do have a a headstone commemorating his death here. And what's so unique about the way he passed was during the hysteria of the witchcraft trials in 1692 here in Salem, he was accused of witchcraft. Now, he was an 81-year-old farmer, well-known in the community, kind of an outcast. He was also known uh, by the court system because he had beat an indentured servant to death. So this dude was uh, unique, to say the least. I didn't know him. When he was accused of witchcraft, he refused to enter a plea. Now in those days, what the court system did if you refused to enter a plea was a little thing they got from the French called pressing or crushing with weight. You got buck naked, placed on one big board, had another like sheet of plywood or another big board put on top of you, and guys would carry boulders over, add them on top of that wood, crushing you until you would enter a plea. Seems a little barbaric, but it's what they did. Now, Giles refused to enter a plea when he was charged with witchcraft. He also refused to enter a plea during the whole time he was being pressed to death. He spent 10 days getting crushed by the weight of huge boulders. It got so bad that at one point his bulging tongue had to be stuck back in his mouth by the sheriff with his cane. Now, at the end of the 10 days before he died, when they asked him if he was ready to enter innocent or guilty, all Giles said was more weight. Kind of badass. But he then died and it's somewhere around here where he was laid to rest. So what we're gonna do is break out my new piece of equipment, the SBP SB11 spirit box. My wife got me this, the raddest gift ever. Uh, we'll see if we can communicate with Giles, see if he's still here, if he's lingering, if there's anybody else. I mean, this cemetery is creepy. It has a different feeling than most of the other ones I've been to. When you go to your traditional St. Mary's or whatever it is behind your church, uh, don't feel like this. This one is definitely ancient. And whatever's here is, uh, gives off some weird energy. So let's get ready. Let's do this sun setting. We're here in haunted Salem. I am Boston Rob, and thank you for joining me on another mass hole paranormal exploration. Let's do this. If there's any spirits here that want to communicate, you can speak into my camera. I wonder if this is the commemorating gravestone. These are so old, it's hard to make out. Something crown, 1897. I think that's what that says. Maybe 1687? I don't know. I really, really, really want to find 
the gravestone. I think it on the map. I think it's here in the back. You know, guys, since I've moved to Salem, I'm just I'm reading and finding out a whole ton more about the history of this town. So if you ever get to visit, you know, just do some Google searches, pick up some books. Uh, if you come into town, I'm telling you this, ask the people uh, that, you know, if they're a docent or they run a bookshop or a witch shop, ask them what the good books are. That's what I did, and they hooked me up with some rad books, some rad suggestions. They know their stuff, I'll tell you that. Let's see, how old are these? Look at these gravestones. These are so 1815. Look at that one. Whoa, that's weird. I wonder if that's a kid. And, uh, This thing hasn't been going off really at all. So, whoa. Until, of course, I say something. That is weird. I wonder why that star is tilted. Now, let's go over here. I don't know. That's gotta be an abandoned school, right? It doesn't look abandoned, but it's just hard for me to believe that kids will go to school and look out onto this graveyard. Oh no, that's what I... I'm so sorry. Such a tiny gravestone. Look at that thing. I mean, look. That's smaller than my hand. I just want to see if this is the tomb of Samuel Carlton, Patriot and Soldier. No. Where is the pressing of Giles Corey? Or Giles? I don't know how it's pronounced. I gotta ask the local. Soon I'll be the local. Once I've garnered enough information. 1834. If there's anyone here that wants to communicate, I have this camera you can speak into. spirits that would like to communicate. Is there anyone here with any messages? And I have still not seen Giles Corey's can help me find Giles Corey's grave.
guys. I'm gonna have to wrap this video up in a minute. But I'm glad I got to explore this graveyard. We will have to come back here again. There's the company of March to Ticonderoga with Washington Valley Ford. That is, that is wild. And God bless General Samuel Carlton, the Patriot Samuel Carlton here, let communicate with us. Someone say that again. Can you say that again? sunset guys it's definitely taking on an eerier feel out here I don't know where Giles Corey was pressed to death or where his body rests but as soon as that Sun goes down this these graveyards in Salem take an entirely different feel much eerier much eerier I keep feeling like I'm hearing someone walking behind me and there is no one. If you guys see anything, post it in the comments. There's no one in this graveyard. I'm the only one. I, I kept hearing something. I don't know. What was that? It sounded like the same word last time. Ooh, it looks like a show. some of the history and knows where Giles was buried. The only other place I didn't check was at the edge of this cliff. It drops off into like a parking lot. Um,
go check that tree. Mm -hmm. What? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Let me just say what? I just said let's go check that tree. Is it that tree? Alright guys, well, I did a pretty thorough investigation here at sunset at uh, the Howard Street Graveyard. This is where the pressing of Giles Corey took place and also uh, where he is laid to rest. We couldn't find his tomb. I'm going to have to do some more research. We'll definitely come back and definitely see if we can get this thing to communicate with us next time. Didn't get any EMF hits either. So, uh... Stay tuned, we'll be back here. And if you didn't get to check out that other video, the burying point where the EMF detector was just wild. Go check that out, I'll link it somewhere in the description. Thanks for watching, love ya. All right guys, so walking back, I left my EMF meter on and the spirit box. The spirit, oh, the spirit box. It's kind of going wild the whole walk back. I came over here to the John Ward house and it was lighting up too. So here we go. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate? I mean, that whole graveyard is pretty quiet. I showed you guys this place earlier in the video. Look at how old this is. 1684, 1672, it's actually 1632, sorry. That's when it was built. This house is wicked old. Who knows? Is there anybody here that would like to communicate? Yes, you can use this spirit box communicate we have a message whoa do you have a message you can use the spirit box if you have a message and you'd like to say something town that was super religious. They made some dark houses, you know. Look at this. This looks like a witch's house. Oh. Can you show yourself?
Well, if you're not going to communicate, use the spirit box, then I'm going to go. Oh, look at that. If you'd like, I'll give you one last opportunity. You can use the spirit box to get rid of something. What the? Okay, something just pulled on my backpack. 